Hey, let's have some fun with physics. I have a challenge that's really simple. All you need is your phone and some kind of soft surface like this pillow. The challenge is to try to flip your phone 360 degrees this way so that it lands face up the same way it started. Like this. Except get it to land face up, like this. I mean like this. What the flip is going on here? Welcome to one of the more obscure effects in physics, the intermediate axis theorem. It happens with an object that has a different length, width, and depth, like most books or a ruler, but a smartphone is perfect for this. Since the dimensions are all different, it has three principal axes of rotation, a long axis, a short axis, and one in between, the intermediate axis. Be careful doing this. You don't want to break your phone. Now you'll notice that it's easy to flip it along the long axis. It's also easy to flip it along the short axis. But if you try to flip it along the axis in between, it usually winds up doing a half twist as well, something you weren't trying to do. Why? Well, because math. The intermediate axis theorem itself is a little complicated, but you can understand it qualitatively by looking at the forces involved. Here's what's happening. Your phone can rotate along any axis, principal or otherwise. And when it's rotating, there are forces going on. The forces depend upon what reference frame you're describing them within. This is called a rotating reference frame, where we, the observer, are rotating along with the object. In a rotating reference frame, normally fictitious or inertial forces come into play. Usually when you're doing one of these flips, your phone doesn't rotate exactly along a principal axis, but close to one of them. And in that case, those forces do interesting things. Flip it close to the long principal axis, and the force components accelerate points around the phone's edge toward the long principal axis, keeping the rotation close to that axis. This stabilizes the rotation. It's analogous to a pendulum that's a little off vertical, and gravity wants to keep it close to vertical. The same thing happens when you flip your phone close to the short principal axis. Again, the forces keep the rotation close to the short axis, stabilizing the motion. But it's different when you flip your phone close to the axis in between. This time, the forces accelerate points on the phone away from the intermediate axis. The destabilizing forces make it start to twist until it does a 180 degree flip. This is analogous to a pendulum that's pointing close to vertical but upward instead of downward. It's an unstable situation. In fact, if you could do this under zero gravity conditions, your phone would flip from face up to face down and back again, like the T-shaped object in this NASA video or this book flipped in a reduced gravity aircraft. The effect can also be explained graphically by way of 3D ellipsoid shapes that represent momentum and kinetic energy. The link is in the video description below. So that's the intermediate axis theorem. Maybe you can use it to win some bar bets, but don't forget to bring along your pillow. Ha! Huh.